Hello friends, in my previous video I have discussed in detail about A50, the zero padding in A50 and A50 shift concept and I have shown you that using A50 shift we can get back the original spectrum, okay. So here I am applying the A50 shift concept for a chirp signal and I want to show you the actual spectrum of a chirp signal, how it looks and uh, I will show you an, one fun fact related to that also. So CLC clear all close all. And then I am defining the sampling frequency as 8000 and 0 to 3 second. I am taking my signal in time domain with incrementation of sampling time, which is equal to 1 by FS. And my maximum frequency will go up to 400. And small incrementation, I have for the small incrementation purpose, I have used this part, which I have already discussed in my previous video, where I have shown you how to generate chirp signal. You can check the description link. And then I am generating that signal using 2 sine 2 pi FT. Let me just play this uh, to show you that this is, you can understand after listening to this uh, sound that the frequency is increasing. Okay, so Y comma FS, let me directly write because I have defined FS. So if I do evaluate selection, so here you can clearly understand the frequency is continuously increasing. Okay, and then I am computing the F50, so in point F50 we have to compute where n should be equal to length of our input, so n equal to length of y, then F50 of y comma n I am computing, then actual frequency range is you know that 0 to 2 pi minus of 2 pi by capital N with incrementation of 2 pi by capital N already discussed earlier and then we have to shift that to get the actual spectrum minus from minus pi to pi that is omega equal to omega minus pi and then I am plotting my actual signal in time domain in the plot 1 and in the plot 2 I am taking the A50 shift of my A50 uh, variable that is x I am performing A50 shift on that and then I am plotting that one as absolute part with various values of omega okay so that we will get the actual spectrum so if I do evaluate selection we will be getting this kind of uh, waveform okay so this is our time domain signal and the corresponding frequency domain signal we are getting like this okay so it is quite clear that as in the chirp signal from low to high various frequencies are present so in the frequency domain also we will get a band of frequency from low to high which is quite obvious from here also at low frequency also come present and some high frequency component is also present as a mirror image part we are observing in the left and right hand side okay so this is what about the particular A50 of A50 and magnitude uh, domain representation of our chirp signal. Now closely observe the magnitude spectrum only. Can you relate this particular magnitude response with a very popular part of a popular TV series? I hope you have seen also. Okay, let me help you. I hope you have seen Lord of the Rings and Eye of Saron if you have seen this particular part just try to correlate see here it is almost looking like the eye of Saron okay so this is what about one interesting uh, magnitude response which we are getting in the chirp signal okay so this is all for my this video thank you for watching